Good evening, Deborah Rice with ABC News. New Zealand has declared a state of emergency after the country's second biggest city was rocked by a powerful earthquake. The 7.1 magnitude quake struck about 30 kilometres west of Christchurch early this morning. It caused widespread damage, toppling buildings, cutting power and rupturing water and sewerage mains. So far there have been no deaths, but two men were seriously injured. Christchurch residents are now being evacuated as officials assess the damage. Here's New Zealand correspondent Dominic Schwartz. They've been warned for years this day would come. In the early hours of the morning, a massive earthquake rocked the foundations of New Zealand's second largest city for what seemed like an eternity. The whole building felt as if it was actually going to fall over sideways and it was shaking back and forth um, as if it had been hit by something. Oh my gosh, well that, that shake lasted oh, probably over a minute. Um, we've got no power, we've got um, no water. The shock deepened with daylight. Signs of damage everywhere. Buildings destroyed, roads prized open, power lines felled and railways buckled. But there was a sense of relief and amazement that somehow the city had escaped massive loss of life. Only two people were seriously injured. I think we've been extremely lucky as a nation that there has so far been no reported fatalities. I think that is just, ex we're blessed. That's certainly how Xavier Rhodes feels. Battered and bruised, but alive after sliding out of his bed on the wave of a collapsing wall. They're everywhere, they're lower down as well. In some ways, we've been extraordinarily lucky when it's come to the, uh, the citizens here. But in terms of the scale of the damage, I think it's absolutely immense. And we're really uh, just beginning to come to terms with the scale of what we've got in front of us at the moment. A state of emergency has been declared across Christchurch, which is tonight under curfew. Water and power are slowly being restored. What the hell are all those people doing up the other end? But there are hazards even in reconnection. A power surge and gas leak combined to start a fire just as Mayor Bob Parker showed the Prime Minister his battered city. So we've got no significant water pressure and we've got a blaze starting in the middle of the city. Emergency engineers are working around the clock. We know that electricity is largely running to the region now. Uh, water is in certain parts you know, causing considerable concern, as is uh, potentially sewage and wastewater. So we'll need to work our way through those. Welfare centres have been set up to house those who can't return to their homes. Given the series of strong aftershocks, it'll be a nervous night for the city's residents, no matter where they're sleeping. Dominic Schwartz, ABC News. And joining us now with the latest from Christchurch is TVNZ reporter Melissa Stokes. Melissa, just how extensive is the damage to the city? Oh, Deborah, everywhere you look, every corner you go to, you see piles of, of rubble. I've seen a brick wall collapse, chimneys off houses. Christchurch is a city that has some very old heritage buildings. A lot of them have lost their facades. And it's not just what you can see on the top of the city. It's also what's underneath. There's a lot of uh, sewage pipes that have been wrecked and water pipes, which is meaning that a lot of the residents here don't have water. They're being told they need to boil it. Uh, they also need to try and conserve the water. Uh, and while really people work out what the next step forward is but there is extensive uh, damage around the place 120 buildings officially uh, but estimates are that it's going to go much higher than that so melissa what's happening in the city tonight well, there is a curfew here from 7 till 7 in the morning. Uh, I actually just arrived and was sent, um, my parents actually took me to um, a cordon just outside of the city where I had to walk into the city in the middle of the road directed by the police officer to walk down the middle just in case any more quakes happened. It's a very airy thing to walk down a city which would normally be heaving this being a Saturday night on roads that are main arterial roads into the city completely dead. Police are on many of the cordons. Um, many of the corners of, on cordons and there's also the army that's been shipped in to keep an eye on things overnight. Melissa Stokes from TVNZ, thanks for that update.